Good morning, everybody. Yours truly, Dan Adams, a.k.a. Soulful Conservative, host of The Political Heat, live Monday evenings, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on War Radio. Want to get right into it. I guess you're already knowing what the answer is to the title of this video blog, but for suspense sake, I'm going to go ahead and start it off. Radical Islam's number one ally is... Right. And for proper identification purposes, I'm going to say this man's full name. The President of the United States of America, Barack Hussein Obama. That's right. Don't get it twisted. He is radical Islam's number one ally. Why do I say that? I say it because. And let's take just what just happened in Paris for an example because I can give you thousands of examples and y'all gonna have you here all day listening to this but I gotta make these video blogs short and sweet to keep your attention Paris attack conference in Turkey let's talk about what he didn't talk about was Islam and Muslim he, had to talk, he talked a whole bunch about the GOP and Christians and us not being compassionate and blah, 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 blah. But did you ever hear him talk about radical Islam? No. We have never heard radical Islam come out of the mouth of that man. And we will never hear those words come out of the mouth of that man. You want to know why? Because he feels that radical Islam does not exist. Nothing can can ruffle the feathers of Islam because Islam is so precious. It's, it's, it's so dear to the heart of this Christian that we call Barack Hussein Obama. <laughs> That's right. The Christian, the self-proclaimed Christian, doesn't want to tarnish the name of Islam by putting radical in front of it. He doesn't want to come to the grips of knowing that radical Islam is the number one threat nationally in, in America and the number one threat globally. And ISIS is the poster boy for radical Islam. What does, what does ISIS stand for? The Islamic State in Syria. No, he wants to call it ISIL. Now, he wants to call it Daesh. But radical Islam will never come out of the mouth of that man. ISIL is not Islamic. With that being said, with him not actually naming the number one enemy of the world right now, radical Islam, he is their number one ally. And to wrap this up for today, he is their number one ally. This 16 month campaign, as I've said, in the past, this 16-month campaign of going after ISIS has done nothing. We know for a fact that these bombings and these air raids have done nothing. Why? Because they're not even hitting ISIS at all. Empty warehouses and empty military installations and facilities is what these air raids that President Barack Hussein Obama has authorized our military to do. Barack Hussein Obama is radical Islam's number one ally.